Okay, in the introduction to cells video, I said that pretty much most of the topic would be concerned with these cell organelles. So these are small cell inclusions that have particular functions within the cell. Um, and the most obvious of those is the large dark staining object that you can see down a light microscope, which is the nucleus. So that's spelled N-U-C-L-E-U-S, even though I clearly can't spell it. If you look down a light microscope, pretty much all you see is a dark staining blob. But if we look at an electron micrograph, um, we can see various features of the nucleus. So the nucleus is uh, surrounded by a double membrane. So if you look closely, you can see a membrane there and a membrane there. So these nuclei have double membranes. And ever so often, that membrane is pierced. It seems to have a gap in it, this double membrane. So we call this double membrane an envelope. So this is the nuclear envelope, i.e. belonging to the nucleus, nuclear. And it contains little holes through it. So if you imagine the nucleus was kind of more or less spherical, this is doesn't look spherical because of the way it's being cut. It's being cut across, so it looks like an oval. Um, it's uh, two membranes, so it's sort of a ball shape, two membranes, and every so often there'll be a hole going all the way through it. So these are called nuclear pores. The thing that we all know about the nucleus is that it contains the DNA and chromosomes. Uh, but that's all pretty much in an active nucleus, unwound and not visible, um, and it's called chromatin. So the chromatin is an association of DNA and protein, and in its unwound state it's completely invisible. And it just kind of looks like these sort of little, it's not a, an even um, distribution throughout the cell. So these are all little bits of chromatin, all these little black dots. What is very obvious inside the nucleus is this big dark staining area. Now I would hesitate to call it an organelle, uh, although it, it has a separate role in its own right, uh, just because it's always found in the nucleus. And this bit is called, um, and this is quite devastatingly awful, the nucleolus. And you do need to be able to spell nucleus and nucleolus and not get the two confused. Um, and this is kind of, it's not surrounded by a membrane, it's just a much denser area uh, inside the nucleus. Some cells have one, some cells have two. Uh, it depends on the cell you're dealing with. So you need to be able to recognise this from electron micrographs and also from diagrams. So I'm just going to do a sort of quick outline of a diagram and put some labels on to show the functions of each of the parts of the nucleus. Um, because I think it's, this is one really good way of learning the organelles is to make your own drawings uh, of the, you know, either a whole cell or uh, each organelle in turn on a flashcard and put the functions of each part on and then, you know, it sort of might fix it in your mind. So, we've got a double membrane, but we need to remember that it's got pores through it, so it's not going to be a continuous double membrane. So I'm just I'm making it vaguely circular. I'm not terribly good at drawing, but you don't need to be to be a biologist, to be fair. Um, so we've got this double membrane. So we've got the inner... and the outer membrane and together we call them the nuclear envelope and its function really is to separate the nuclear contents from the cytoplasm.
We've then got these nuclear pores, so these penetrate through. And these are effectively big holes, um, and their job is to allow large molecules for example uh, mRNA now we will do later on in the course what mRNA is what it does what its role is um, enough to know that it needs it's a big molecule it needs to get out of the nucleus and it goes out through a nuclear pore for now We've then got, I'll just put my dark staining nucleolus in there. And this bit here is called the nucleoplasm, just to distinguish it from cyto, which is cell plasm. Um, <clears throat> and this contains chromatin. is DNA plus protein um, and during cell division the job of chromatin is to condense to form chromosomes now at school, when you did GCSE, you have talked about the nucleus as being the brain of the cell or controlling cell activities. Now we're going to kind of have a brief look at how it manages to do that. So, the DNA component contains the code for proteins. So, how the nucleus controls the cell is by controlling the manufacture of proteins like enzymes and hormones. And last but not least we come to the nucleolus, remembering that we have to be able to spell this, so this is nucleolus. Really, yeah, you've got to remember to put the O in that. And the nucleolus its role is to manufacture a different sort of RNA called rRNA. And again, later on in the course, we'll do what that stands for. And ribosomes. Now, ribosomes will feature in this topic, so we'll know what those are. So, nucleus, double membraned organelle, inner and outer membrane, I'm going to call it the nuclear envelope, and again I'll try and spell that correctly. Um, it separates the nuclear contents from the cytoplasm, we've got the nuclear pores to allow mRNA out, we've got the nuclear plasm with chromatin in it, chromatin will condense to form chromosomes for cell division, and the DNA, really important, contains the code for proteins. Nucleolus, completely separate job manufactures a different sort of RNA, rRNA, and manufactures ribosomes. That's what you need to know.